Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? It's your time to uh, review another hot sauce, and this is Tiger Sauce. I've been asked to review this on live stream, and of course, this is going to be dedicated to Tiger Kitty because Tiger's in it. Uh, just like how a cat did to Tiger Milk, which I thought was pretty funny. And this is Tiger Sauce for Tiger Kitty. See if she likes the video. This was $2.53 or something like that at. at Giant Eagle, I reviewed, uh, I've had Tiger Sauce before, it's been a long, long time. When I was reviewing different hot sauces, way before uh, I got into these uh, really hot hot sauces, you know, I think when my sister went to uh, Grove City and got an endorphin rush, that's why I started finding out about the hotter sauces, then ordering through the mail and stuff like that, you know. Um, but I mean, they had, like this, there was some other one that it was like a pepper mash you had to add vinegar to, but I just had like the pepper mash. Or they had something called Dante's Inferno and Giant Eagle. They had like these big long like wine bottles and long neck bottles. And it was pretty affordable, three or four dollars, which might have been expensive back then. And they weren't that hot, but it was just such a unique bottle. I think I bought a couple of those, but I didn't because they were a, a lot because they were expensive. I mean, this was back before I, you know. You know, it's kind of cautious about what I bought. And this Tiger Sauce Unleashed the Sweet Heat. It says, this is the original. It says, for meat, seafood, and anything else that can stand up to the sweet heat. Information is, oh, yeah, New Orleans, Louisiana. It says L.A. right here. Now, I have to bring up a movie called Rhodey with... A hard to find movie because I remember it came out when I was around fifth grade. I wanted to see it as a kid. I never saw it. It came went from the theaters really quick. It's very unusual film. I was able to find it and buy it at a thrift store. I well, at a pawn shop in uh, on Bragg Boulevard when I was in Fort Bragg. And there's a part where uh, you know Milo was hanging on this young girl, and they had like singers and stuff because it was about you know. A life of Rhodey is like Leonard Ronstadt was in it, Alice Cooper was in it, and stuff like that. And uh, Meatloaf started out playing a roadie. I believe he was a roadie. And that young girl was kind of like a groupie. It was like a bizarre comedy, right? And she said, I remember watching my friend. She said, hey, yay, we're going to L.A. And he goes, we're going to Louisiana? So that's where I said Louisiana, L.A. right there. And it said right here, Tiger Sauce Original packs fierce flavor and a balance it complex. Sauce says, slightly sweet with a touch of heat. Unleash the sweet heat as a condiment, as a greedy, or as a marinade. Or marinade. I, I, I don't say marinade. Some people say I say marinade. For cooking sauce, shake well before using it. says, try me. Okay. I got the kniff. Well, let's see if I can open it. No. I'm going to use the kniff. Now, I remember before I opened a bottle of hot sauce a long time ago. I went like this. I end up sabering the top of the hot sauce. It looked like a CGI effect. And I did a video called How Not to Open a Hot Sauce. That's like really... Oh, okay. This came off pretty easy with that kniff. Billy Joe McGravy sent me. And also, wait a second. Here's the bottle cap. The bottle cap looks like it just has the best before date on it. So let's see if this tiger sauce is any good. I got a spoon. And you see little bubbles bubbling up to the top right there. Never see seeds in there. It smells it smells hot. And see ingredients. Cayenne pepper, sugar, distilled, vinegar, water, salt, crushed red pepper, that's what I thought. Chili peppers. Mm. Corn protein. Tamarind extract. Natural flavors. Huh. Spoon. Okay. It looks like right. If I, I don't want it to spill right there. Okay. For Tiger Kitty, see what Tiger sauce tastes like. There's a slight bit of heat. It's really good. It's very sweet. Let's imagine like. <coughs> When you add, um, if you're making like, 
how coleslaw. I mean, you know, you add like the mayo, but I mean, you add like sugar and vinegar, that combination without the mayo and stuff like that. That's kind of like, I'm going to just taste a very sweet, but somewhat thick sauce. It's pretty good. I mean, it has a little bit of heat, a little bit of bite to it, but not a lot. I like it. I think it's really good. And this is good quality stuff. Probably give the tiger sauce a 9 out of 10. So hope you like this tagger kitty and everyone else. Until next time, please, take care of my leech.